So Kip, today you have your first tape, taste uh, of Embry atmosphere here in Switzerland. What are your thoughts? It's crazy. I mean, it's still over a month away and the place is packed and the crowd's going crazy just to, to meet the team. Um, it's pretty cool. It's a different experience that I've been through in my career. So it makes you get really excited for the season and you want to get out there and play in front of these fans. So yeah, this one will be your first season in Europe. Uh, you know there are some differences uh, from USA from here to here. So what do you think about this? Uh, do you think you will fit better or, or well here in Europe? Yeah, I think obviously it's uh, the ice, the size of the ice is going to be the biggest difference. Um, but I've always felt if I had a bigger ice surface, it would fit my game. You know, I'm, like a, I'm a one-on-one player that the more I have, the better I am to set up my line mates. So, um, you know, I think it's going to work to my advantage and obviously to the team's advantage. So uh, it might take maybe a, you know, some practices to get used to it. But I think once I get used to it, it's going to help me out. You won two Calder Cup with this man here. And uh, I think he played a big role to, to, to for your decision to come here. So I have two things to ask you. One, if he was uh, this uh, this important for you for to come here, and uh, what do you think about uh, the possibility to play again with him? Yeah, here's a big reason why I came. Um, the team gave me a call about coming here, and um, you know I knew Alex was here, and I talked to him, and you know for when, I, when I came to Europe, I wanted to come to a team where I knew somebody that I was good friends with, and to make the transition a little easier and um, so, you know once I talked to him and you know he spoke so highly of it here that you know it was kind of an easy decision to come here you know talk to my wife and um, it was an easy decision to come here and um, you know we had a, we had two really good years together and there's no reason why we can't do it again um, he's a goal scorer that can score score anywhere on the ice and I'm a playmaker that looks to pass to my line mates so um, you know I expect us to do well and um, you know, we're both really excited to get back on the ice together. So, uh, you played a lot in the uh, USA, but uh, you didn't really play a lot in the NHL. I mean, well, more than 100 games are a lot, but not that, uh, that big. Uh, why do you think uh, that uh, there is such a difference between your, how many matches you played in the NHL and how many matches you played in the NHL? Yeah, I mean, I didn't get my first NHL game until I was 26. You know, I was undrafted. I kind of had to work my way up. and. Um, you know, it took, took me a few years, probably till I was 29, to really adjust to the NHL level after getting my first couple of games when I was 26. And, um, you know, I was always a number, a number situation for me. I was always a 13th or 14th forward. And, um, you know, when you get to that, you know, I became one of those guys that was a death forward that when somebody got injured, I was the first guy to go up. Um, you know, the last few years is when I got the most NHL games. It's, you know, it's... Um, you know, it's all about getting an opportunity, and the last couple of years I did get an opportunity, and the NHL's a lot younger now, you know, guys that are playing at 21 in the NHL, and, um, you know, I'm 35, 36 now, so, um, you know, my NHL games are kind of dwindling, and I knew it was a good time to come over here. So, last question, uh, this team now has lost uh, an experienced guy like Richard Park, I don't know if you know him, and now they have you. What do you think you can bring to this team? I think a lot of experience will help for you. You have a lot of young kids around. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know Richard personally, but I know who he is, and I know he's a good example. He's been around for a long time, and um, you know, I know I've been around for a while. I know what it takes to win. I know what it takes to win in the playoffs, and um, you know, it's a long season. You gotta have ups and downs. It's it's how you uh, regroup from the downs that really make your season. So. Um, you know, I, I try to lead by example. I go out there and play hard every shift, and um, if I have to get it, stand up in the locker room, I will. But it's a little different here. You know, I, I don't speak the language, so it's, it's going to be a little transition for me, but um, it will be easy for me because I like to lead on the ice the way I play on the ice. There is something you want to say to the fans, something maybe original, not uh, usually things. Um, they're going to get 110% out of me every shift. And, you know, I see Drew had a, a chant going. So hopefully by the 10th game, maybe I can have a chant of my own name. So uh, if they can get that going, that would be nice.